Okay, got another beautiful ride up here. This is a 1970 El Camino. And she's really slick. Inside and out. And this has got the 350 under the hood. AC compressor's not hooked up. You can see the belt's missing there. We've got power steering and power brakes. Pretty clean. Paint job is beautiful. Aftermarket set of wheels. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. And of course, I'll be taking it down the road, pointing out flaws so you know what you're getting. We do this in every video. I inspect the cars and make videos so you know everything that's wrong. We're gonna go over the wipers. How does it steer? What does it do when I floor it? Probably be out here, ride around for 45 minutes or so. And towards the end of the video, we're gonna do a thing called picking out the flaws. That's where I look for chips, rust, dents, and scratches. For now, just go to maplemotors.com, hit subscribe, that helps me out, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we take off on any test drive, we place bets on the horn. Do you think the horn works? This one starts up good. Engine temperature's working. Looks like the gas gauge is working. Clock even works. See the miles. Of course, that it's a 70 model, so you can see the gauges look fresh. Wipers work, tilt, turn signals popping up on both sides of the dash there, radio, working, lower motor, kicking on. Lots and lots of new accessories and parts. Looks like they taped the ashtray up. Probably needs to be fixed there. Carpet's new. Good deal. Horn, did you place your bets? Oh, I would have said it worked. They don't have the spring in it. All right, let's hit the road. All right, so it's Valentine's. So I had to bring the wife up with the baby. Gotta go feed the baby now. I don't know if y'all seen that. But we did a baby reveal this weekend and made a little video for y'all. There's two different ones. There's a live one that's kind of boring. It takes forever. There's one that's shrunk down into like four minutes. Let me know what you think. I'm sitting over here trying to pull this seat belt. And these are new. That's all the way up on the top. If the seat belt don't work, you can't ride. <laughs> all right. So I'm, I'm actually taking her to lunch, but she's pretty good at helping with, the, with these videos. So... I kind of like to drag her along sometimes. Check the brakes. I feel okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. All right. We're going to head down the road. Anything I see, you'll know about it. I'm going to check the steering. You know, we're going to get into the throttle. And we'll get some cool outside shots. Let's do it. Good shift there. This thing is straight as an arrow going down the road right now. A little bit of slack in that steering though. I mean, you're talking like that much, so that's not bad. Kick down hooked up. That's our passing gear and our brakes. Woo! Got good brakes. We can go anywhere you want to go eat. Got to speak up. What about sides? Oh, it's this way then. Is this sure. A little sandwich place. Speedometer is working. A little bit of wind noise, but all the seals look like they've been replaced. We 
looks like they taped up the ashtray there. Next up, undercarriage shots. She'll help me get some outside footage. The radio's making a weird noise in. It's coming through the speakers. It's like a ground. So I cut it off. I think that's how you cut it off. I don't know. We'll be right back, guys. Stick around. Okay, here we go. Heading on back to the lot. Get your seatbelt on. <laughs> it does. You gotta be patient with it though. Well, I wasn't so patient at first. Here we go. There's reverse. Neutral. Drive. And y'all don't look so bad, so. Tag along with us. <laughs> this is a bumpy, bumpy parking lot. The seat's making a little squeaking noise. Oh, that whining noise was the fan from the blower. If you give it a second, it'll go Sound like E.T. coming by. back way I knew once this one starts changing that that one would be red so by the time I got up there we'd be sitting at a red light anyways so we always hit the back roads give it a little bit more of a test drive 
this thing runs and drives awesome. We've got a good solid 200 on the engine temperature. Everything's pretty nice and quiet. I mean, a little bumpy on the suspension. It's just stiff, if anything. Come up with the camera just there. It's gonna prove me wrong, but it was. It was making little noises. I thought it was the radio. And then I noticed when I was doing the drive-by on the cameras where you were videoing me out here, that this thing was squeaking and I turned it off twice and it cut back on by itself. Shifter's a little bit loose. Needs to be tightened up. It makes me double check, make sure that I'm actually in drive and not in second. seat's definitely got a little squeak to it. You can hear it making some noises. Back into our brakes, just nice and smooth. Overall, running and driving, this, this truck's pretty good. It's not bad. The color really stands out. sheriff in town you see him what about this bump it's just in the back in the very back kind of feel the suspension being stiff and we're right around the corner from the car lot now guys picking out the flaws is coming up next so stick around for that looks like this has got yeah, it's got a newer dash on it, but this back piece is kind of swollen up. So that's not a cap. That's actual dash there. Good deal. One more stretch. Hey, it's our O'Reilly's delivery guy behind us. He comes up to the lot all the time. He may be coming up now. Okay, guys, we made it back. Figured out the flaws. Here it comes. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride, look for chips, scratches, dents, rust, whatever I can find. There is detailed pictures inside out and underneath at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. We'll start on the back. We haven't started on the back in a while. Looking around, the rear bumper has been replaced. The guy that owned this car when we were talking to him, he sounded like he has replaced almost everything. tail lights and stuff look new a lot of your trim is in awesome shape and around in the bed here Let's see if I can get this open there we go before I do that I want to take the tag off the back drop it down
super clean. Got a little crack there on the rubber piece that's in between the tailgate. We'll go ahead and check the bed out up in the corners. Back window is good. Coming on up with the tailgate. Coming down this side. A little bit of dirt at the bottom, nothing major there. Up and over. Bottoms of the doors look good. Back here midsection. Edge of that door's got a couple chips. Little chip there. Over the top. Starting to get warm out here. I'm getting some allergies today. Chrome looks good on your door handle. The seal around the vent window looks good. Trim, mirror, pillar. Got a little spot, little some little spots up here on top. Your front windshield on this one, not bad. Top of the fender. Coming around our front end here. Headlight bezels are nice and clean. Chrome on the front bumper. Looks pretty good there. We're going to come around this side here. And over. Back this midsection, open the gas cap here. Edge of your door looks pretty good. Chrome's in good shape. Over the top of the fender here, little spot. It's like a more or less a bug mark. Front windshield looks good. Trim's not bad. A little chip there on the edge. Chip here on the edge. Seal looks good. back portion here. Let these guys buy. Top of the rails. Blemishes here. The 
felt still good in the door. Okay. So we've made it around the outside. Let's go ahead and open up the interior. See what we got going on inside here. Door panel has been replaced along with the door handles and window cranks. And locks. Seal also. The bottom of the door. And your jams. They replaced the trim plate, new carpet. <laughs> and behind the seat. Spare belt. Everything matches on the inside. Headliner. Nice and clean. Across the dash. Also looks pretty good. Console. Looks new. Upgraded radio. Full motor and all that good stuff. Cutting on. Good deal. Up under your hood, looks clean. Looks like it was redone when they painted the car. It's in good shape. Coming down with the hood, it comes down easy. And it's shut. Okay, guys, I've got more cars to get to. I'm um, starting on next week's vehicles. Every Monday, we put on new rides, and every week, I go over every single ride and their flaws. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping all at maplemotors.com. Thank you for watching. Hit share. That'll help me out quite a bit. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.